2019 move of the central government to abrogate Article 370 and the special status that was granted to the permanent residents of JNK under Article 35A is under a constitutional challenge before the topmost court of the country. The matter is being heard for the last 10 days and on the 11th day, that is on Monday, the topmost court of the country had certain questions and important observations to make from, in fact, the central government submissions. The topmost court of the country said that the removal, the Article 35A, they have granted a special status to the residents of Jammu and Kashmir, took away three fundamental rights from those who were not the permanent residents and were non-residents of the state. That is the right to buy immovable property, the right to settle into the state of Jammu and Kashmir, and the right of employment in the state of Jammu and Kashmir as well. The bench headed by the Chief Justice of India made an observations that Article 35A took away these three fundamental rights. And not only this, but it also took away the right of judicial review on these particular provisions. The, sub, the remarks were made after the Solicitor General of India, Mr. Tushar Mehta, who was arguing about the introduction of Article 35A in the Constitution by way of an amendment, said that this was something that in fact uh, was of a shocking nature. The government of India, in consultation with the then Jammu and Kashmir government, brought in an uh, amendment that too in a very shocking way. Uh, owing to these observations, the topmost court of the country had these observations that the Article 35A, which granted a special status to the people of Jammu and Kashmir, is something that has been taken away the three fundamental rights. And in fact, the court also went on to argue how the uh, uh, on to observe how the presidential rule which generally stays for 3 years post the 2019 abrogation has stayed for more than 5 had stayed for more than 5 years in the state of Jammu and Kashmir now the uh, the supreme court is currently hearing it for the 12th day today and the solicitor general of india is currently arguing with regards to defending this particular abrogation that took place and clearly saying that it was constitutional in nature. However, the observations of the topmost court of the country that came on Monday on the 11th day of the hearing are something that is very, very important and is also attracting a political face-off on this, wherein a lot of questions are being raised on the then government on bringing in Article 35A, which the Solicitor General of India says is a shocking way of amending the Constitution of India. I am Anir Bhatnagar with Video Journalist and Satish for CNN News 18 from the National Capital at the Supreme Court of India. In applies. But now see what, what happens. If you look at the CO, it applies Part 3. That is Volume 3. You get it at Volume 3, page... Uh, 14. Page 14. Yes, sir. Volume 3, page 14. But you bring in Article 350, uh, sorry, Article 35A, which creates an exception in three areas. Employment under the state government, two, acquisition of removal property, three, settlement in the state, leave aside scholarships. So though Part 3 is made applicable, by the same way, in, when you introduce Article 35A, you are taking away the three rights, three fundamental rights. 16.1, 19, 14, and one second, 16.1, then you are taking away the right to acquire removable property, which then was a fundamental right under 19.1F and Article 31. And third, settlement in, every, in the state, which is a fundamental right under 19.1E. Right. So those constitution expressly made the provisions of Article 19 applicable, which would include these three rights, and Article 16, by enacting 35A, you virtually took away the fundamental rights.